What is up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best and most overpowered creator player in MLB The Show 21. As you can see on the screen here, this card is absolutely cracked out of his mind. Look at the hitting attributes. 119, 119, 117, 117. That is absolutely unheard of. The only... <clears throat> All right, enough of that fucking accent. Hey, can y'all start watching my videos, please? I'm not getting any views, and like, I'm I'm starting to overthink and think outside the box. Y'all got me doing an Australian accent to to try anything to get views. I don't I don't know. Just watch my videos, please. Uh, but anyways, yeah, look at the attributes, man. I mean, the only card that is really comparing to this is the collection reward Tipper Jones. And for that card, I mean, look at the look at the fielding, the the arm, the reaction. Speed's a little quicker, uh, stealing's less, but the hitting attributes for righties, better than Chipper. The only thing that Chipper has better is maxed out lefty stats, but I mean, god damn, these attributes are crazy. So, yeah, we're, I'm going to show you how to get them right now. This video is not going to be too long. Um, I'm just going to go around the basics. I'm going to show you the quirks, the, the archetype that you got to get to get this card. Um, but I'm gonna put the link in my description of two of my fr close friends. Uh, they uploaded videos on how to make a creative player. They're actually the ones that showed me. I'm just, this video is specifically to tell you how to get this certain archetype, okay? I'm not taking credit for knowing how to grind creative players. I'm gonna leave their videos in the description. So if you guys are confused on how to get started with that, you watch that and then come back to this video. Um, but let's get right into it. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Road to the Show. This is my guy right here, you see he's a 92. Um, so in their video, they kind of touch up on how to efficiently simulate games so that you can grind out these missions. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So like, for the Hawk to get this diamond, I had to, like you have to accumulate 100 points, whether it's through plate appearances, hits, extra base hits, assists, put outs. This is all from Road to the Show. Um, and again, my friends, they show you how to do that efficiently. Pitching Rebel and NG Perfection, again, it's gonna be in the description. Make sure you guys check those videos out. But without further ado, let's get right into the archetype and into the perks. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the perks and the archetype for my guy. So as you can see here, yeah, we got the Hawk archetype. In my opinion, this is the best one. This is the most balanced one. You can get contact, power, fielding. Um, it doesn't knock your reaction with, with the perks that I'm gonna show you. With max equipment, you're gonna be looking at a, a god card. So you can see here I have the Hawk. I have power one, power two, fielding six, and contact six. So the reason I have power one is because it takes a little bit away from contact. My contact would be 125 if I didn't have these two that take away from contact, and it's still 118, 117, something like that. Anyways, it's, it's cracked out of its mind regardless. So that one gives plus nine power. Um, power two, again, gives plus nine power, takes away a little bit from contact and fielding. As long as you have above 90 fielding, that's more than enough. So fielding six, this is gonna give you fielding, arm accuracy, I mean, arm strength and reaction. It's not gonna take away anything. I think that's the best fielding one. And contact six, it's gonna give you contact, vision, take away a little bit of arm accuracy, which doesn't matter at all. And then it's gonna take away a little bit of reaction. Reaction's very important, but you can still get it to 90, as you saw in the beginning of the video. Um, I need to go through my equipment, my eyewear. I have this one that gives you plate vision, discipline, accuracy, fielding, and reaction. Uh, no catcher mask, no chest protector. Elbow guard gives discipline, durability. That's not too important. Fielding glove, uh, I have this one that gives fielding plus 10, arm strength, accuracy. Uh, leg guard doesn't matter. Shin guard, batting clutch, durability, you could just use a gold one. Cleats, I have this Griffey one that gives uh, plus 10 reaction. So again, if you're trying to get over that 90 threshold for reaction, make sure you have one of these cleats that's gonna give you a lot of reaction. Socks, Fernando Tatis got these for free, I'm pretty sure. Uh, bat, Jackie Robinson, plus eight, plus eight. Uh, you, you can switch it around, but I think this gives you the most attributes. Uh, it gives you 16 total. The other ones usually give you 12. I think there's one that gives you nine power, five contact. That's only 14. So again, this gives you the most, the Jackie Robinson bat. Uh, bat grip, Mike Trout, I, I got this uh, through the program for free. Uh, batting gloves, contact and power, play vision. Uh, yeah, the rest aren't, oh, uh, legendary call, plus eight, plus eight. Uh, this one I had to buy, but there's another one you can do, I think it's called El Mago, that gives you plus six, plus six. It's not too expensive. Compression sleeve, again, 
these aren't too important. So yeah, that's that. Um, now, one thing that you're gonna also have to do is grind out these training missions. Uh, I'm gonna go, go ahead and show you real quick. So if you guys are familiar with how to grind your cap, you know that you're gonna go into a game and then you're gonna simulate to the end. Okay, I'm gonna go, go ahead and do that right now for you guys. And then I'm gonna show you how to train particular stats. Okay, so right here. With my creative player, for some reason, my power versus lefties was really down as opposed to power versus righties. My power versus righties was pr pretty much maxed out. As you can see here, now they're equal. Power versus righties and power versus lefties are both 92. Uh, what I did to get my power versus lefties up is I would just play, if I saw a lefty was on the mound, I would just power swing with the lefty. Whether you get a hit or not, it's gonna bring up your power. Uh, so just make sure you try to play as many games versus lefties as possible. Um, these don't really matter. And if your contact numbers are down versus lefties or righty, then you would contact swing. Do whatever you gotta do to get those attributes up. Right there we hit a home run, plus three power versus lefties. You just got, that, that's all you really gotta do is, when you're playing the game, make sure you're power swinging to get that pow those power numbers up. And again, I'm gonna show you guys the training in a second. Let me go ahead and fast forward through this. Okay, so as you can see here, um, this is the post game recap, base attributes. Power versus lefties didn't go up because it's maxed out, but if it wasn't maxed out, you would see that the numbers went up a little bit. Once you get to 50, you're maxed out. There's nothing more you can do with it. Your creative player is gonna have the best attributes that it could possibly have. Um, aside from having equipment, obviously if you move equipment around, it's gonna change those attributes. But like you can see right here, drag bunting, it's at 30. I don't drag bunt. I'm never gonna drag bunt, it's gonna stay there. Play vision, I don't really take pitches. Um, so that's not gonna go up unless you do it in training and I'll show you how to do that in training. Discipline, again, I don't take pitches. Um, it, I'll show you how to get that up in training. So these two, I haven't maxed out yet. Play vision and discipline are not maxed out yet. Uh, fielding, you can see speed is maxed out. Stealing, I can still get a little higher. So that 68 stealing that you guys saw, 67 stealing, it can still go higher. It could probably get to like 72, 73. I, I'm not too sure what it would go to. Um, arm strength could get a little higher. It's already over 90, I don't really need that. Accuracy doesn't really matter. You can get that higher and yeah, so Gonna go ahead and simulate to the end of this now. I'm playing. I'm facing the righty right now I have my numbers maxed out versus righties. Uh, you guys probably will too if you play a little bit um, So I'm gonna go ahead and simulate. Oh I'm just gonna simulate this. I'm just trying to get to the training so I can show you guys what to do from there We got one more game in the series and then finally we'll be able to train our guy Okay, so the series is over um, so once the series is over and it makes you go back to the clubhouse, the next time you try to simulate to the, your next appearance, it's going to ask you if you want to do training. So let's go ahead and show you what to do there. Okay, so batting cage. Normally there would be more options here. I already maxed out my contact versus right and contact versus left. It does a little mini game that you can do. If you, obviously if you get a gold in the mini game, it's going to give you the most attribute boost. Get a silver, it's gonna give you decent boost. Bronze is barely gonna give you any. So just make sure you try to actually grind those out and get as high a score as possible. So right here is plate vision. If I were to play this out, it's showing me, like you see that I'm hovering over bunting so you guys can see uh, the plate vision. Look at the plate vision right now. You see the yellow above the plate vision? That's how much it's gonna go up if you get the maximum value, okay? And practice field, these ones are just simulated. You don't even have to play these out, so I kind of like these ones. You just press whatever and it gives you the maximum. Like right now it says my arm accuracy would go up all the way, arm strength would go up a little bit. Um, and the last one, training facility. It usually has some stuff for speed, for power versus lefties, power versus righties. Um, make sure you guys grind those out. Again, you want to make sure that that attribute is at 50 if you want your creative player to be as good as possible. And you can get everything at 50 it just takes a little time so if you want to go the simulation route just make sure you get into a game play through next appearance and then simulate through there don't just simulate past it because then your attributes may go down so right now we're going to go ahead and uh just simulate my arm accuracy and arm strength going up okay uh i'm gonna sim this appearance so another thing i want to help you guys with if you guys are actually playing out your road to the show, trying to grind out power versus right, contact versus right, I have a huge tip so that you guys are able to um, get easy home runs, okay? 
So you click league. So you're gonna click stadium assignment. Right now I play for the Giants. Uh, so I'm gonna change my home stadium. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna change my home stadium to this one. And that stadium has max elevation and the walls are 200 by 300 feet. Like center field is like 380 feet. All you have to do is power swing and it's gonna be a home run. If you don't have next gen, then just make sure you do this instead. Uh, change the stadium to go to minor league stadiums. Either do Laffy Mountain Park or ship it, obviously. The ball just flies in those stadiums because of the max elevation. Um, there's, ship it's a little smaller, but uh, Laffy Mountain has a higher elevation. Either way, those are gonna help with that. So if, one thing you can do is you can play out the games at home and then simulate the games on the road. But even the ones that you're simulating on the road, make sure that you're going into the game and then playing through next appearance and then simulating that way. Uh, otherwise, you there's a chance you're gonna lose attribute points. So you just wanna make sure you're doing that. If you notice any attributes starting to get low as well, like sometimes uh, if I simulate too much with my guy or if I'm just power swinging, I notice it's contact versus right goes down a slight bit. Again, just make sure you're contact swinging the next time you're in a game with him. Even if you hit a home run, the contact is what's gonna go up, not power. So just make sure you're balancing everything out. Um, it is a little bit of a grind, but it's worth it. I mean, this is gonna be a free God card. And I think the SES is gonna patch the simulating soon, so I would recommend getting on it as soon as possible. Uh, is there anything that I missed? Okay, so for the these quirks, you can buy them on the market. Uh, I actually bought this fielding one and the contact one on the market. Uh, the power ones are a little harder to come by because people aren't really selling them. They're grinding it out and using it for their cap. So to grind that out, I'm just gonna show you real quick. Again, it's in the video that I'm gonna have in the description from Pitching Rebel and NG Perfection. But to grind that, I'm gonna press square here so you can see the path. To grind that, so for the Hawk, again, these missions, they help me get along this reward path, right? Through this path, you're gonna get diamond equipment, which, again, that that's, you could either sell it or you could use it. And a diamond perk. So that's where you, this diamond perk right here is where you're gonna get the power one, power two, power three, whatever you wanna use for your guy. Um, and to get other perks, you can change this one right here. You can change the hawk to, to a gold one, tool shed. Whatever you have gold or silver, you're, you're gonna have to level up to the max and then you get another diamond perk at the end. So it's really tedious if you're not gonna just buy them on the market. Um, if you wanna just put in a buy order, try to get them on the market, it doesn't hurt to try. Um, but yeah, so you can see I did quite a bit of grinding for these guys, and I think the Hawk is the best. I, I tried everything out, saw what attributes did what. I will stand by firmly that the Hawk is the best. Mm -hmm. So yeah, guys, I appreciate you checking out the video. If you liked this video or if this helped you, please feel free to hit me with a sub. Uh, like the video, please. Um, there was a lot of people asking me about how I got my creative player. Decided to make a short video. So I hope this helped you guys out. Um, again, I appreciate the support. Make sure you guys leave a sub. Hit the like button. Check out my socials in the description. And again, if you're confused on how to grind your road to the show player, make sure you check out the two videos in my description by Pitching Rebel and NG Perfection. All right, guys. Take care. Thank you.